Ah, good morning, Sarah. And how, well, it's afternoon now, isn't it? And we're at a very interesting property. <laughs> we are. It's another nice new listing. This is actually two houses and you could go through if you wanted them or keep them as two separate houses. it make a very nice home, just one from this side here. We've got a lovely uh, big calzada driveway and entrance place here. You can drive further down onto the land. This property has, what so many people are asking for at the moment, two hectares of pretty flat land, beautiful trees and what Paul's going to do is show you the boundaries and he'll tell you where we are, but I'm going to tell you now, we're right between Anshia and Alviadre, but he'll go to the sky and show you that. <laughs> okay? See you in a minute. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Let's take a look at this exciting opportunity from the air. As you can see from the boundary lines, this is a substantial parcel of land, a large house with other buildings also. It is also located just off the Santiago Pilgrim route, which, if you did not know, 300,000 people take this pilgrimage every year, so the possibilities for a tourism project are immediately enhanced. The land being 20,000 square metres has the landmass to start a legal campsite. Parcels of land of this size in this area are at a premium. There are also a large number of trees on the land which give plenty of shade. Al Moster is in the heart of central Portugal and is equidistant between two market towns. And Xiao and Alviazara, approximately 9 kilometres. Coimbra is about 40 minutes away and Lisbon Airport 1 hour and 40 minutes. Tamar is 30 minutes away and there is a large choice of river beaches within striking distance. The main house is split into two parts and some wonderful character touches which gives several options. The downstairs areas could also be developed into habitation and have great ceiling heights, which is in keeping with the rest of the house. It is well worth checking out those areas. We always have properties coming onto the market, so please subscribe to the channel and like the video so that you do not miss out on the latest offerings. And check out our other social media channels. Just search for PP Property and you will find us. I would just like to mention that we now offer a buyer's agent service. We can find you any property anywhere in Portugal. Don't believe me? Email us with what it is you want in detail, be realistic, and we will find it for you. It costs nothing but your time. If you want the full explanation of how that works, click in the top right corner of the video. Or maybe you have a house to sell. YouTube, combined with our social media presence, sets us apart from other agencies. So if you'd like to know what that looks like, contact me now, paul.stubbs at expportugal.com. So let's get back to the tour. From here, we're actually going to go around the property first, show you some of the land. I get, you're getting the surroundings here. Nice views. Peaceful. There's a road, but you can, as you can see, it's yeah, very I'm just going to show the driveway, darling. Oh. Paul's been desperate to get the driveway. Well, I think it's important. Shall I just yeah. appear in Goes down way? onto the road, uh, double, double iron gates. Right. Yeah, I mean, unbelievably, the house has been empty for 25 to 30 years. It's in incredibly good condition. You would never think that. No. Um, we've got a number of fruit. We've got a well over there. And... I'm guessing Paul is shooting yeah, behind me. So that your boundary is the tall trees that are pretty much along the boundary. Now. I'm just going to show again that this calzada area here goes up and meets the, the, the other driveway uh, <laughs> at those double gates. Yeah, so... I meant to bring wellies for, for this part, but I didn't. So here we go. Let's go on into the land. And if I scream, I've probably been eaten by a lizard. Right. The land is beautiful. Look. Yeah, it's actually not that common at all. <laughs> not great in flip-flops. I mean, it's quite common for you to fall over, but 
What's not common is this amount of flat land, isn't it? Yeah. Everyone's asking for flat land for horses yeah. and you don't get it that often. It basically goes to, as far as you can see, it looks like it drops down and it does. Yeah. It drops down to the tree line and there's a ribera, so there's a stream that runs along there, which I'm pretty sure is dry at the moment. I can hear something down there, but I think it's like a little bit underground now. But yeah, water runs there some parts of the year, sometimes of the year. There's a large variety of different trees, so we've got natural shade. Obviously, they're all just going to be coming back into... Yeah. I mean, there is actually over two hectares here, so it is possible for some kind of uh, campismo project, isn't it? In theory. In theory. In theory. Um, oh. Now, there's a couple of little buildings, and I think we need to probably go... <laughs> I can't even the, see it. it. It's right ahead of me. Brilliant. This is not a good time to have a pencil skirt and flip-flops on. No. Luckily, I'm not. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it is a bit of a trait. Are you going the right way? Yeah, yes, darling. Um, yeah. Oh, so, uh, right, hang on, hang on. I'm just like, <laughs> it's really deep. <laughs> Sarah's actually, I'm not going to show you. She's having to hitch her skirts up so that she, <laughs> so that she can navigate through some rather tall grass. Um, yeah, most of us don't cut our grass yet. Oh. Um, because it Thank hasn't long stopped raining. Thank you for making me a path. And <laughs> when you've got a lot of land like this, then uh, unless you're using it agriculturally, you kind of save the time that you would use down to a minimum. So, you know, two or three times a oh, year. Oh, I'm out. Um, so there's the building over there. Do you want to not go over I, to it? Sarah? I've managed. I've managed to get out of the deep. <laughs> it's like the gruffer, though. Well, you want me to go to go through that now as well? Well, do you? no. I'm just asking you. I mean, it is just a very small. It's a small stone building. Sort of small stone building. I mean, you could always do that on your own. If I you could, wanted. if you like. Yep, I don't mind. Um, I know that if I don't do this, someone's Somebody going to. You complain. We've actually got a number of trees. There's yeah, she's going to talk now, of course, you know what I mean, now we're not here and I'm going to be out of transmitter range. So we're probably just getting like a <laughs> bit of garbled Sarah by now, I should imagine. But uh, I'm traipsing through. This is a property viewing not long ago. I had to walk up a great big hill. <laughs> My legs are a bit wobbly themselves. But here we are. Little stone building, which of course can be used, and it has an old threshing circle as well. So I've got one of these, and funnily enough, we were talking with some potential buyers earlier, and uh, they make a great little sort of bar come uh, entertainment area as well. And I, I have used mine like that, and it is pretty cool. So here we are, little stone building, old threshing circle. This is where they'd have threshed the grain in the old days, and then stored it and any equipment in the, uh, the little stone building. I'll put my light on. There we go. Yeah, actually, for a threshing circle building, this is actually quite a large one. Significantly larger than the one I've got. Very nice. Actually, to be honest, the clients I took out earlier might well be interested in this. This is the kind of exactly the kind of thing they're looking for. So uh, let's walk back up. There's Sarah, <laughs> waiting very patiently, waving. I hope she's not you talking. Your tree. Um, 
yeah, I don't know if you can pick it out, but I showed you on the drone the barren grass, but uh, it's all fenced all the way up there. If you wanted to fence off and like put sheep on here or something like that, then it wouldn't actually take much. The There's only poles. a couple of um, places where you'd actually need to fence off. Those ruins there are not, and the, that, that's the boundary comes across there. Um, as you'd have seen on the drone picture, the boundary's a little bit complicated, but not much. And more than make up for the fact that it's so flat. I mean, it is absolutely wonderful. That building then, there's uh, not included. You pointed that out? Because that's on the boundary. Well, that one building there? Yeah. Just the one? Yeah. Apparently, that ruin there is included. See, the, I the, think line, the boundary line comes along the telegraph poles here. Yeah, well, that doesn't make sense then, sweetheart, if that building's included. No, ignore her. Ignore. What I just told you is the truth. <laughs> You'll have so, to correct that later. Yeah, very possibly. But we'll leave it in. I was wrong once before. Right, so we've got bamboo, which the owner has been harvesting while waiting for us. Yeah. Well, it's an Indian canyon or something like that. It uh, needs less water than other types. OK. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm not an expert in these things. Or, I actually don't know anything at all about these things. But let's uh, wonder... Do you think we can get to the house now? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> if you actually get out of the way, or walk faster. <laughs> oh. There is irrigation and water tanks and... Um, Everything all set up here, so if you do, I mean, you could actually take a little dip in that if you're really hot in the, in the summertime. But, uh, Don't walk into the tree, right? There's yeah, a barbecue area yeah, there. Outside barbecue area, which... Needs a bit of TRC. Yeah, it's really good. Well, yeah, it needs a lick of paint. That's all that needs. A bit of a rub down lick of paint. But it's essentially all there. You know, cupboards sinks, uh, barbecue itself, wouldn't take much to add a pizza you oven. You might as well go and just look up the stairs into the annex there, I mean, don't go in. OK. Well, the floor's gone. Yeah, really nice dressed stone steps, actually. But yeah, I mean, yeah, that can also be done. Lovely big that thick stone there walls. That building is not included, is it? Yeah, exactly. The line goes along the building and goes right. Yeah. We just clarify that Paul was wrong. What, what, in what way was I wrong? That the building is not included and it's that. No, that is what I said. Okay. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Right. So let's get into that. Right, we've got two garages. Ta da! For once yeah. we put the car in the garage. Yeah, for once we're not we won't be getting into a roasting hot car. Concrete concrete and metal with roofing. guttering. So that needs uh, no attention at all. Two really nice sized gut garages. Yeah, all gutted as Sarah just pointed out. Uh, and loads of room for parking, isn't there? There's tons. Yeah, tons of it. There obviously was yeah. some sort of structure there. But let's go into the house. So we've got, if you get a first shot, can you get the two front doors in? Yeah. OK, so let's go into this one first. There you go, in all its glory. Now, let's delve inside. Lovely tiled. I don't know whether they've gone too far to be used or not. But we've got this lovely entrance hall and it's so cool. You've got your lintels and you've got the beautiful details here. Um, and the window seats. The, the fact that this is stone, it's all, it, it was obviously not an extension, but no, some sort no, of no. entrance hall. This has been extended on. There's lovely tiles in there. Obviously, that's a matter. Yeah, no, it's nice bathtub. Oh no, go in. Look, I found something weird. Ooh. Oh yeah, look. So 
Okay, what do you think would be in that cupboard? Um, I actually wouldn't have a clue. Shower? Guess again. I don't I mean, know. What have we got in here? We've got a bidet, we've got a toilet. Yeah. We've got a wash basin, wash we've basin. got a bath and a shower. Just come on, the suspense is killing me. I can't, I can't take it anymore. What's in there? <laughs> Another little wash basin. Why? I've no idea. Okay, so that's my mystery for you. Yeah, that is a bit, yeah. If anyone's got an answer it's to that, doing this job. Yeah. people who are very, very shy about washing their hands. Really like this. If anyone's got an answer to that, no. please do leave yeah. it in the comments. Right, so come on then. They had an eye, they like green things in this house. They obviously knew I'd be coming. Right, this is actually a very wide hallway. Yeah, yeah, oh God, you've missed these. Look, 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 look. these little. Oh, I see, I've already marvelled at lots of them, yes. Loads, yeah. just lots of detailing. They're yeah, really nice, aren't they? Yeah, have they got the seats in? No, not yet. I haven't... I haven't, I haven't Golly, got... I'm just going too fast <laughs> for him. I know, she's, she's like a rocket. Look, at that's a lovely sink, isn't it? Wash basin. Wash basin, sink. sorry. Sink. Sorry, it's my working class upbringing. Come I should never have mixed with the, with the middle classes, but there we go. <laughs> As I was saying, this, this is a very wide hallway, huge amounts of storage. Into the first bedroom, which is the largest one. I didn't notice, I guess this has been one of the, You get this design quite often, but it's, I've often seen them with sort of gold colours. Nice yeah. green one. This is coming home with me if I ever get off a dip. Nice. That would be nice. So, <laughs> yeah, it yeah. is nice, yeah. <laughs> this is the biggest of the bedrooms. Yes, and another the piece of furniture. Actually, I could be lying. This is pretty... No, I think I'm not lying. It's slightly smaller. I don't know what made me do it yesterday, but there is room for chimney here. I think it's something that obviously used to be mm. uh, a fireplace. Yeah, I think that you're probably right, actually. Well, a yeah. big hole in the wall and the pipe sticking out. Yeah, a bit of a giveaway. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You haven't looked. And then we've got a tiny little room, yeah. which I'm going to call an office. But obviously, yeah. you can turn it into an ensuite. You could, eh? yeah, 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 that's the point. It's actually got water here already. Yeah. There's the radiator. Just go straight through there, an ensuite for that one. Yeah, or, could be an ensuite. Well, no, the bathroom's just the, whatever you want. No, it's a possibility. It's a little it's study a or make that into uh, a or another bar. bathroom. So we come past our lovely Showering wash basin thingy. with spout. Yeah. Ooh. Shame that's not um, in running. working order, isn't it? Yeah. Can you imagine? Nightmare. Right, what a beautiful, large room. Yeah. For the older Portuguese houses, this is a really big space. Yeah, very unusual to have uh, anything and this kind of size. The inlets, the inset pieces, yeah, quite unusual. And actually, I know that the owner of this property was a doctor in Lisbon. And there was another property we went to some time ago that was owned by doctors. And that was very, very posh as well. Obviously, yeah. had plenty, uh, plenty of money. There's an inset in the fireplace. Yeah. What's that? Is it just a flue? No. Or is it? For, it'll be for hot water then. It's it's sealed. It'll, it'll be a hot water. Really clever that I did that. Yeah, it'll be for a hot water back boiler. Yeah, there's a thing. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, so there's an open fire nice with a back boiler. Okay, so they would have had hot water from yeah. the fire. And, okay, Paul's going outside. Yeah, well, I think we've kind of done that room. You haven't been out here? In fact, even the pillars are quite detailed because they're not straight. Yeah. They're, it's, it's just very, very nice, nice, isn't it? Yeah, very nice views out here. Yeah. And all of the, what, what is quite amazing is the woodwork. It's all in very, very good condition. Yeah, okay, we've got single glass. definitely hardwood, yeah. Single glass, but the frames and everything are yeah. excellent condition. This is a very nice balcony, and then you can see over there, that's house number two. Yeah, which we shall go and have a look at now, shall we? Yeah. I will show you where you could go through. Oh. I think... I mean, obviously, it's this wall. Ooh. I think that goes into what well, is actually a very nice bathroom, but it's all a matter of taste, isn't it? And this goes into the bedroom. Right. We were talking about it yesterday. 
Okay. If you wanted to join the two houses up. Well, surely you'd go through where that shelving unit is. Yeah, but the, if you see the tiles ah, the on the other side, right. it's a bit... Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, have we done the kitchen? Um, I think I think we haven't no, done the kitchen, have, done have the we? Kitchen. We haven't no. delighted everyone with the no. lovely 1970s brown and orange. <laughs> which is just pure delight oh, for all to see. Fabulous, isn't it? Look at that. I really like that. But then somebody else might absolutely hate all the green and blue ones that I like. Yeah. I think this is just fabulous. Oh, this is so 1970s, isn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. And the cupboard doors and everything. I mean, you know, yeah. everything's Oh, no, so it's all brilliant. hardwood. It's all hardwood and well carpentered. It's hardwood and it's got red brick behind it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it is brilliant. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a little bit small for modern day kitchens, I suppose, but it's a perfectly functional size. Well, again, going um, through, it, it just completely depends what you want. Yeah. I mean, this is a very, you know, this space here yeah. is a dining room. Yeah. Couldn't it? You know, yeah, if you it had could be all sorts, couldn't it? You know, yeah. it's not really used. No, there's tons of space and, yeah. you know, you can use it, you know, however... You want Ooh, to, well, really. Oh, that was a close-up, sorry. <laughs> yes, mm, I'm not going to mention that. Right. So, into house two. Very nice tiles again. So we've just come in through the doorway onto the second property. And this is the bathroom that I'm saying, oh, no, you couldn't possibly break the tiles on here. But, as you say, matter of taste. I mean, you get a proper dinky bar. Yeah, yeah. That's a proper Portuguese bath. That is, your uh, Kidney's bath. Beautiful. Right. Lovely. So, bathroom. Oh, and I noticed this, the old detail. And then the kitchen, which is. Well. Different. Equally, yes. <laughs> I, yeah. mean, I mean, the tiles again are really nice. The tiles pretty much everywhere are nice. Yeah. I mean, it completely. Yeah, I mean, I mean most of the massive. Yeah, as is in as is common. You won't be able to here. get that in from yeah, there. Yeah, You're it's have difficult. To come here. Yeah, I'll it's back out and show you. But I mean, enormous. this is very very typical of the older houses with these huge fireplaces. Uh, the, the older ones were actually higher up, and, but they were too problematic, so they learned to put them lower down. Um, I don't know when, sometime a long time ago, uh, so the, the room didn't fall full of smoke. So that one would function at that height, but the trouble is, you have to like really bend down to get inside there to do anything with it. But they're a lovely, lovely feature. Yeah, yeah it's always one to think about, isn't it? So again, here we come into what is sort of a very large landing room with very typical size Portuguese, old fashioned Portuguese, so it's three by three, three by three. You could, again, because it's a stone house, you could just open this up. Yeah, there yeah, for want sure. One big room. Yeah, you could um, if you wanted to, but I mean, they're, they're not the. They, yeah. I mean, they are small, but they're not the smallest of rooms, are they? Well, they, but the, the height is amazing. Yeah, the height. The height is yeah. a really, really good. Really good ceiling height. Yeah. Um, so. And one thing that we haven't. Oh, sorry, Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're not the biggest of rooms. It's a fact. You could open it up and remodel it. Go across but, you know, it might depends be adequate. You have to work out might, a plan. You know, depends thing. what you want to use them for, doesn't yeah, it? Something. Now, this I room's lovely. haven't seen for years yeah. in this condition. Yeah. I used to see them a lot. Yeah. And they call it the Marquis. But it's the Winter Lounge. And... Yeah, this is a really nice one. Yeah, I haven't seen one like that. I can remember one or two houses for, yeah. from many, many years ago. Oh, they all ago. sold years ago, didn't yeah. they? All well, the they houses fall apart. Yeah. They were, yeah, yeah, all they fall apart. They yeah. fall apart, yeah. yeah. But that, yeah, as I said, like, like most of the other stuff, it's all... I imagine Brazilian cherry, if I was to take a guess, a lot well, of the framework. Mm -hmm. I mean, not, not these. This is, this is just pine, I think. But um, the exterior... Uh, framework. It's all really hard wood, isn't it? Yeah, Brazilian cherry. I mean, it needs to be placing. Or an African hardwood. Some of it does and some of it doesn't. No, yeah. that... Only where it's bowed. I mean, it depends. Yeah, I mean, some of that will restore. You know. Yeah. But anyway, it's absolutely gorgeous and a very special thing to have. Yeah. And if you put it back exactly as it is with the style of the windows, 
Yeah. Um, you know, it's just a very, very nice feature of the property. It is. So, we there's, have covered... There's a, there's a downstairs, isn't there? Yes, we have covered all of upstairs. Yeah. There's a downstairs. Do you okay. want to... Oh, yeah, or do we'll you have to. Just to follow we'll have to, yeah. Since I don't know the way, it would actually be handy. Quickest way to downstairs. I'm inclined to think... I'm not jumping off there, we'll have to go around. Um, my idea when I came to the property yesterday to have a look at it was that because we're also on the Camino Santiago again. Are here, we? Yeah. Okay. Uh, really not very far from it. Right, okay. Uh, so the underneath rooms have got amazing height. And, and of course this could be one as well. Yeah. You could turn them into self-contained studio apartments. And, and the little stone cottage with the arrow that I went over to earlier. Uh-huh, yeah. So that could be four. One, yeah. two... I mean, if you had horses, you'd probably use the other one as a stables, wouldn't you? Yeah, but... and as I alluded to um, a little bit earlier, um, a, a campsite oh. licence may be possible because of the... Uh, yeah. it's, got the it's got the land size. Yeah. No. And being on the Camino de Santiago... It's very dark in here. Now you can see, you can see that the marquee was marquee, marquee. The windows, the winter lounge, was added later because that's that's the floor of it where the concrete. Yeah. And this is the original house. Yeah. And you can see it from the line on the exterior. Yeah. Oh, they've just replaced. The, oh, you can see it out there. Can I can you? see it here. I can't. I mean, this just looks stone, but it looked. Yeah. Like, you sure? I think from that point up, I could see it. Yeah. Okay. It's the old lintel. Yeah. Two lintels. Yeah, it's just because they've moved. They've, they've moved something. Right. Or they've put in the one above to take the weight from yeah. below. OK, now, so you've actually got access up to the winter lounge. Yes, yeah, so that up there, goes up there. Up the stairs, so, yeah. Those go up to the winter lounge. And then here, see the height and the beams are good. Lovely, nice arched doorway. So this is big enough. This the, the room next door is smaller. Um, this is big enough that you could put a little bathroom in and a little studio. Put the doors to glass and with some clever lighting, you have a little studio apartment. Yeah, absolutely no problem at all. Completely independent from Fabulous the house. Fabulous height. Yeah, and yeah. as you can see, I mean, these are obviously old, but these are the heating system. Yeah, yeah, they want replacing. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Yeah, again, yeah. They're, they're lovely. This one's massive. Yeah. Hey. Oh, it is, isn't it? Old, uh, yeah. yeah. Proper. Proper Adega. Yeah. Yeah, there's your wine press. Yeah. And storage, concrete storage tank. Oh, yeah. And then uh, These... oak barrels for ageing. Oh, yeah. Sweet. These beams are as solid as anything. Oh, and that's that the other thing, that, that flat for... for Oh, right. Uh, I've got 20,000 uh, square metres will give you. <laughs> I'm, I'm off Here, on a oh my, oh, my word. <laughs> no, but the beams are really... Yeah. Be completely... Yeah, yeah I, I wouldn't be stretching too much. No, is that, is that a bit... Um, hmm, hmm. Maybe we cut, <laughs> cut that bit, maybe. <laughs> right. Um, OK, yes. Too much flesh, right, all right. <laughs> And then another yeah. underneath. Uh, yeah, okay. That I mean, that is, is storage, but you know, we'll, yeah, we'll just be storage, place like it? this. Yeah, added on at a later date. Gardening tools and yeah. all that kind of stuff, isn't it? Oh. So I think um, we're more or less covered, aren't we? Yeah, I think I think by the orange tree is a good place to sum up, and it smells really nice. It does, isn't it? Love all this orange blossom that's that's out at the moment, and the smells yeah. lovely. So what we have here, we have a good space, really good sized house, decent, top floor, easy, three bedroom, nice kitchen, nice big dining room property. Underneath, you've either just got storage, you can turn them into rentals, you could put stairs in and integrate them into the main house if you want to, there's nothing stopping you doing that. But again, if you wanted some sort of, lots of people are coming out looking for 
tourism opportunities and properties that could be lent to that and you could easily live upstairs and have one, two, three, possibly four independent apartments here. Location's good, you're 10 minutes to Alviazra, 10 minutes to Anxiao. Um and it's got some lovely characters. It has got some really nice character yeah. all through the property. The flatland is a massive bonus. Yeah, it is. You know, uh, yeah, and I didn't realise if we're close to the Santiago route, there's another yeah. bonus to it as well. So if you wanted to do some kind of tourism licence, bang on. Yeah. I think it is worth mentioning, because you will see it in the drone anyway, that there is, next door on this side, is an oil lagar. Yeah. So just to explain, because it looks like a great big factory, but yeah. it only operates for about six weeks of the year. Yeah. Sort of November, December time when it's harvesting. At that point, it will get busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rest of the year? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so if you wonder what that is, that's what it is. Yeah. So it's nothing to be really feared, thinking you've got some massive industrial thing. When it goes into action, they get busy. Yeah, but yeah. It's a short period of the year. It's like total gridlock of tractors and trailers and <laughs> <laughs> huge, huge full but of oil. You'll get very good oil. Yeah. But, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe. Oh, butterfly. Please do like and subscribe. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Ciao.